The Rotrike is Rotomobility's first vehicle featuring lever propulsion. What we've done, and I feel it's in our DNA here at Rota, is to innovate a product that's going to improve and in fact save our customers' lives. Rotrike is a remarkable engineering achievement. It represents a complete revolution in vehicle design for those with disabilities. For many wheelchair riders, going long distances can be strenuous and stressful on shoulders and wrists. Lack of manoeuvrability limits hand cycles to outdoor use. Wheelchair riders need an ergonomic and mechanically efficient vehicle that combines the benefits of both wheelchair and hand cycle in one. The road trike is powered by a patented front and centre propulsion mechanism that converts upper body strength from a back and forth rowing motion into driving the rear wheels with significant mechanical advantage. Rotrike provides a less strenuous means of propulsion than traditional pushwind wheelchairs. This means that the rider can enjoy travelling quickly and easily over considerable distances of variable camber and grade. With a small footprint and fully articulated steering mechanism, Rotrike provides the manoeuvrability necessary for riders to navigate through their home, public transportation, shopping centres, and even restrooms. Self-propulsion is so very important to wheelchair riders. Unlike those who can walk, they are literally dying from lack of exercise. For the majority of wheelchair riders, it is simply too difficult to use their push rims other than over a short distance or within very confined spaces. 90% of all manual wheelchairs are push rim propelled. Push rim wheelchairs lead to repetitive strain injuries in the arms and eventually to secondary impairments and further disability. Consequently, many wheelchair riders resort to an electric powered wheelchair or scooter. These devices offer no opportunity for essential routine exercise in the course of their daily lives. From the point of deconditioning and the related health perspective, physical exercise in the form of self-propulsion is to be preferred whenever possible. From an ergonomics perspective, there are three strategies that may help prevent long-term overuse injuries and improve ride comfort. One is the deployment of different, less stressful movement and force patterns through the ergonomic optimization of the propulsion mechanism and other aspects of the wheelchair user interface. Another is the improvement of the capacity of arm structures through well-controlled strength and endurance training activities, leading to a reduction of the relative strain and possibly absolute strain. Finally, there is a strategy of the reduction of the task load of wheeled ambulation to improve vehicle mechanics of the wheelchair. Using manually propelled wheelchairs under optimum conditions will stimulate physical activity and may therefore help prevent further deconditioning that is so closely linked with life in a wheelchair. Even those with severe upper body impairment, such as those with cervical spinal lesions, seem to benefit from these propulsion mechanisms. Here at Rota, we concluded that lever-propelled wheelchairs allow the majority of wheelchair-dependent individuals to be more mobile outdoors, have a larger power output, and have a larger endurance time and velocity. This allows our riders to travel for longer distances and at higher speeds. I love the way we at Rota have applied our high-tech engineering and experience to designing the Rotrike. When I see our lead users riding road trike, it becomes so much more than just a vehicle. I don't know how we could make a product any more essential, any simpler for our riders. Our goal was to design the very best vehicle we could, something that our customers would adopt into their daily lives. As a design team, I can't remember the last time we were so collectively excited about a product.